Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at AstampAbove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. So, the Packers are on in the background. And did you guys notice I got new blinds so you can't see that reflection in the window? But I'm going to keep you updated on the game. <laughs> Hi Connie! Hi Bonnie! Welcome! Susie's here! Happy to see you. I am going to duck down under my desk to turn my space heater off because I'm getting warm now. Okay, sorry about that, but I forgot that that was on and um, it was cold in here before. Hi, Bev. I see Terry's on here. Connie, Janet, welcome. So I hope you guys all had a great weekend. We had a little bit of a snow. We were supposed to get some giant snowstorm here and it just bypassed us. Like liar, liar, pants on fire. They get us all jacked up for this big storm event and then nothing ever happens. We did get a little bit of snow, um, but it wasn't any big deal. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Suzette, Denise, Cindy, welcome. So I spent the weekend in Oshkosh at a demonstrator event. Um, I was at, asked to present. Um, I taught everybody how to make a video and edit it and upload it to YouTube. So that was kind of cool. And oh, it's snowing in Waterloo right now, Sharon says. Um, it's not doing anything here. And then I was also asked to do a creative demonstration and it was so much fun. The event was actually put on by my team members, um, Chris Bertram and Kathy Miller, and it was their first event. There was around 50 people there, I think. It was incredible. They did just like the most incredible job. Um, Especially, you know, with the first event, you've usually got some kinks to work out and things don't always go like you plan and you forget something or I don't know that any of that happened. It was fantastic. Here's Sarah. Sarah was there and Lisa. Yeah. Um, Dina, my friend Dina was there. She came in from Iowa to do a presentation and she was in charge of uploading to um, YouTube Live because when you come to an event like this, um, this event in particular had a Facebook group. So we were doing live videotaping onto Facebook just like we're doing here, only into a private group for the people who paid to come to this event. And Dina, instead of putting in Kelly Atchison on my video name, she put Jelly. So I'm good. Kelly, Jelly, Belly, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, go Packers. It's um, 14 to 3 right now. And uh, that's pretty exciting because this is a playoff game. This is a big deal here in Packer country. All right. Um, so that's what I did all weekend. I was in Oshkosh and I was um, rubbing elbows with other stampers and it was just a lot of fun. The make and takes that we made were incredible. I'll be sharing some of those with you over the next um, few weeks. Hi, Kathy Miller. Kathy Miller was one of the... Um, um, creators of this event that I was at. So it was really cool. I had some people come in from my hometown in Nielsville. That was really fun. And uh, local people, long distance people, it was, it was worth it. It would be worth a trip to come to something like that. So tonight, I think I have four cards I'm going to make for you tonight. I'm kind of excited. I got home and I had to unpack everything. And then I thought, oh my Lord, I'm gonna, I, I don't know where stuff is. And uh, my husband gave me a new ceiling fan. When I turn my phone, I'll show that to you. Um, I had purchased a new ceiling fan, gosh, I don't know, like six months ago. And while I was gone this weekend, he put it in. So that was really cool. And um, uh, it's just white, it's nothing fancy, but that other thing was really old and cruddy. There's Carol, Carol was there this weekend. Hi Carol, hi Ann, hi Nancy. And what else? Um, oh, so then when I came home and I had to, I had to take everything off my desk so he could put in the new ceiling ceiling fan, and so I changed my office around. You may notice behind me I have a different angle, so I kind of went back to my original layout when I first redid my office. 
<laughs> because it's just, it's getting so cramped. I've really outgrown it. And I think I told you guys last week that I've decided that I am going to move upstairs into a very big room. But um, that's not going to happen for a while because I want new flooring in there and I want the walls painted and I want the closet ripped out and all kinds of stuff needs to happen. So I need to make do with what I have now. And uh, Ethel, I am watching the Packers. They're right there behind my screen, like right there. Yeah, so it's still, oh, now it's 21-3. Yeah, um, just scored another touchdown. So things are going good for the Packers and not so much for the Seahawks, my friends. <laughs> I'm not going to get cocky about that because it could all turn around. Anyways, um, make sure you share my video. I really, really appreciate that. Hi, Arliss. Arliss was at the event this weekend too, so that was fun. Um, please share my video, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. A share is a share, and I appreciate all of them. It also gets you an entry into the door or um the prize drawings that I do every week when I do a Facebook Live. So you can get one for leaving a comment. If you're popping on here to watch me, leave me a comment. It doesn't matter what you say. You can say, hi, Kelly. You can say, um, I'm watching from um, Anytown, USA. You can say whatever you want, but make sure you leave a comment so you get in that drawing. And then um, commenting, sharing, and also placing orders with me because I always appreciate your orders. They're what keeps me in business. All right, um, we still have, of course, Celebration is in full swing. I don't know if you guys saw, um, gosh, when did I, oh, I think I did this last week on Facebook Live, didn't I, these little pouches? I think that's what I did. Well, um, I think I showed you these cards too, and I know everything's backwards. I'm still having a problem with my phone flashing if I, mirror the screen so that you can read this the right way so oh 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 and check out check out the nails yeah uh-huh i had one time i showed you guys my nails and some lady left me a comment that said what is this a nail video or a crafting video <laughs> like so don't leave me nasty messages i can show you my nails <laughs> um where do i post the winners you never see them i can announce them right here every week when i come on i announce the winners from last week so I'm glad you asked that. Okay, Jane says she wishes she lived a little closer and I wish you lived a little closer too, Jane. Thank you, Heather. Yeah, I got something special for Valentine's Day. I thought that was really cute. Okay, here's some Valentine cards that I've shared with you. And of course, I wanna be sharing Valentine's with you because it's very time sensitive, right? So I do have um, a couple Valentine cards today, tonight. And then what else do I have? Oh, we're going to be using the Meerkats for a really cute and easy card. And also um, the Happy Birthday to You, which I haven't shown you before. And it's really, really pretty. Um, oh, <laughs> I, can't, I something just scrolled up. But somebody said, I wonder what you're going to show me that I need tonight. Well, don't worry. I'll show you some stuff. I promise. Okay, so then the other thing that I wanted to show you, just in case you missed it, the birthday bonanza. These were the cards that I did for a blog hop on my blog on Friday, and aren't they just stinking adorable? This is the birthday bonanza stamp set, suite of products, I should say. And we've got some little cello bags that have these um, little pom poms on them. And I cut the cello bags apart and used them for a layer on my card, and I just thought that was really cute and unique. And then there's also a tag die in there. I stamped my, whoops, stamped my greeting in Stazon on vellum cardstock and then just layered it over a tag and put some ribbon in it with some Bermuda Bay M&Ms to match. Yeah. So those were a couple really cool um, projects that I did during the week. And then I thought, gosh, these would be perfect for the whole color scheme of that birthday bonanza. And these are a metallic baker's twine and sequin combo pack. They're part of our celebration promotion. You can, when you place a $50 order, you can get these for free. So, hello, Elizabeth. So, funny story. Today, um, I left Oshkosh and came home. And Elizabeth, who just popped on here, she lives over in Marshfield, which is a couple hours away. She messaged me and said, did you leave your video phone stand by the front desk at the hotel? And I'm like... 
I almost messaged her back and said, no, 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 leave that alone. That's Kathy Miller's and, you know, whatever she did with it, that's hers because we both had the same phone stand, the stand that I put my phone in right here. Well, I didn't message her that because I thought, I never unloaded my video phone stand from the car when I got home. Sure enough, I left it right in the lobby at the hotel. Oh, my Lord. So, I asked Elizabeth if anybody else was still there, and she said everybody was gone, and they were. So, I jumped in my car, and I started heading down to Oshkosh, which is only 20 minutes away from me, but still, that's another 40 minutes, hour out of my day, and I need to get ready for tonight, right? Just as I'm getting, just going out of Menasha, my phone rings, and it's Kathy Miller saying, hey, did you leave your phone stand because Elizabeth just called? And so we got together and Kathy dropped off my phone stand so I could do my video tonight. So thank you all very much for keeping track of all of my stuff. <laughs> Don't you just feel like a dunce when you do something like that? I like set it on the floor and walked away. So hi, Elaine. Hi, Tracy. So anyways, these are part of our celebration. With every $50 that you order, you get to choose something out of this brochure. Now, if you're new and you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would be happy to send you our current catalogs so that you can look at all this deliciousness in here. I mean, there's some beautiful, beautiful new products. And um, I'd, ha I'd be happy to earn your business and be your Stampin' Up demonstrator. I've got um, lots of things that I'm going to show you tonight. I think what I'm going to do, well, first of all, I wanted to talk to you about um, my kit classes. So right now I have the Tropical Oasis. This is the kit class for the month of January. Um, registration for that ends on Friday the 17th. So if you would like to get this kit class from me, it includes... A half a pack of this beautiful designer series paper. You're going to get the trinkets. I'm also going to, oops, I'm going to include, oh, I thought I had them right here. Oh, I do. A pack of the um, sequin assortment because I thought that would be pretty with this paper, right? And then the braided trim, which I have right here. So, braided trim, okay? You get all of that for $45 plus, I'm gonna give you a pre-cut pack of cardstock to make eight cards. It's a really good deal. And if you um, want to, you can add the bundle onto it and I'll include that too. For an additional $61, you can get the stamp set and the dies. You can also add on the embossing folder. And the embossing folder is one of the prizes for tonight. So yay! So that's my kit class right now. Registration for that is, I would like it to be in by the 17th so I can get everything ordered. I'm going to be shipping the kits with the pre-cut cardstock out in the mail around the 24th. So that's always subject to does when, when my shipment gets here or you know whatever else may be kind of getting in the way. If something goes on back order, that throws things off, but I don't anticipate any problems with this. Um, and then I also have my online class. So I do a kit class and an online class every month. My online class uses the Peaceful, whoops, hang on, let me get there. The Peaceful Moments bundle, okay? This poppy bundle, which is gorgeous, has two different bundles in it, okay? We've got the painted poppies, that's gonna be February, but this month we're doing the Peaceful Moments bundle. And that includes a pre-cut cardstock pack for eight different cards and a perpetual birthday calendar portfolio. Ah! Yeah, so, um, you can find all of these on my blog, www.estampabove.com. The right-hand column is my online classes. And you need to get your order in for that, I believe, by, oh, I think it's the 17th also, so I can get stuff ordered and start cutting and, and putting together all of the cardstock packs. But it's going to be really, really cool. Then I wanted to tell you that in February, we are going to be using the um, Birthday Bonanza 
for our kit class, and this is the Birthday Bonanza Bundle. Super, super fun birthday cards. And I'll have all the details for that a little bit later in the month, but I just wanted to let you know what's coming up, Birthday Bonanza. And um, next month, that's my kit class is gonna be Birthday Bonanza, and then my regular online class is going to be the Painted Poppies. Right now, this month is Peaceful Moments, which is the poppies, and next month is Painted Poppies, which is the poppies. So, super fun. You're gonna wanna have that whole suite of products because it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's get to our prizes. I'm gonna, hang on, I'm gonna put my stuff away. I wanna pinch my fingers in there, I've done that, and it hurts really bad. Okay, last week, oh, hang on, there we go. Last week for comments, so when you leave a comment here, you get entered in a drawing to win fabulous products. Um, last week, our winner is going to be Judy Kruth for leaving a comment, and she is going to get these beautiful red rhinestones. So congratulations, Judy. I will be dropping all of these in the mail tomorrow. I'm going to set them back there so I don't forget to do that, or they get lost in all the chaos that's about to happen tonight, right? And then um, for leaving or for sharing my video, don't you can click on that share button right now. Don't forget to do that. For sharing my video, I am giving away the brand new Coastal Weave Embossing Folder. This is part of the Tropical Oasis um, bundle of products and my kit class for the month. The winner of this is going to be Kathy Fennell. So congratulations, congratulations, Kathy. Kathy is in Nevada. And then for placing an order with me throughout the last week, since I was on last time, is going to be the Dressed to Impress stamp set. This is a brand new one in our mini catalog. Our winner for that is Mindy Pavelski. Pav Pavelski. I think that's how you say it. Pavelski from Vestal, New York. So congratulations, ladies. I am so excited that you won. Let me make sure I get everything back here so I don't lose it. And like I said, I'll be putting those in the mail um, tomorrow because I do have to go to the post office. I have a swap that needs to be in the mail tomorrow going to Minnesota. So let me move all this stuff out of my way here. I think that we are ready to stamp. What, um, Oh, I've got a little note here from last time. I just want to let you guys know Steve is all better except, you remember his bugleitis and the shoulder problem? Um, his neck hurts from putting my ceiling fan in, from being up on a ladder and being like this for too long because you know he has like a major deals going on in his neck. And yeah, so he's got a stiff neck, but I got home today. I gave him a little neck rub trying to, you know, work out the whatever. And... Um, I think he'll be okay. <laughs> I don't know if he's popped on here yet. Did, did you guys see him? Has he been on yet? He's out in the garage watching the Packer game, but he's also changing the headlight in his car. And I guess it's horrible to change. Like you have to practically take the motor out to change the, I mean, it's not that bad. I'm being very dramatic, but it's horrible. The things you have to take apart just to change a headlight. So um, he told me I might not want to come out in the garage because he's not going to be very happy. <laughs> Nobody likes a crabby Steve. Okay, let's see. What are we going to do first? I think to start us off, oh, I've got all my little bins over here. I'm going to start us off with a couple really, really simple Valentine cards. Anytime I'm doing cards in large quantities, I like to keep them simple, right? You want them to be quick and simple so you can make a lot of them. And um, if you're not sending out Valentine cards as a card maker, you should. Send them out to everybody. Um, you don't just send Valentine cards to your, the person, you know, like your significant other. You don't just give Valentine cards to them. I send cards to my friends. I send cards to the grandkids, um, my kids. Send cards to your mother-in-law, your father-in-law, to your besties from high school. Send Valentine cards. People love getting cards in the mail, and why not take advantage of being able to send out a card because it's an occasion and make some cards for them. That's what we do. We spread joy and happiness all over the world. <laughs> 
Oh, did you guys see this? Look at this. Isn't that just the bomb? This was my name tag from the weekend, and it kind of matches my shirt, right? This uses the um, Poppy's paper. So, yeah, beautiful. Creativity at its finest right there. I think Kathy Miller made these. She's on here tonight. So, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so like I said, we're going to do um, some Valentine cards. Just a couple. And I think they're pretty quick and easy. Oh, and we almost didn't do Valentine cards because I couldn't find my whole suite of products. Like, I couldn't find them any place. Remember, I like moved my office around. I had to move everything out of the way so Steve could get in here and put in the new ceiling fan. And then I couldn't find, I'm like, where are my, all my Valentine products are missing. Well, they were over in my photo booth in a bin. I had picked it up and set it over there. And I just kept racking my brain like, I know I did something with them. I've got them loaded up for my stamp clubs this month because, of course, we're making Valentine cards. What did I do with them? What did I do with them? And sure enough, there they were over there. Okay, I'm going to get this stuff out. At the end of this video, you guys, don't let me forget, I've still got Christmas cards to show you and other things that I received during the week, okay? So I've got some mail that I got during the week. I'm going to set those right behind me. Don't let me forget to show you the stuff I got in the mail. And we're going to do that at the end. And I am going to bring in my laptop here because once I start stamping, I know I don't keep up very good with your um, comments, but I like to try. <laughs> I'm going to try really hard. I, I always give it an A. I can get an A for effort, right? A for effort. <laughs> oh, Becky said she ordered the wrong paper. She got the birthday instead of the Valentine's. I'm so sorry, Becky. But um, both of them are beautiful. But I know you need Valentine paper, right? So I'm sorry that happened. Okay, I'm bringing myself up on the screen here so that I can now see your comments. Yay! Okay. Move all the stuff out of the way now. I'm going to flip the phone around so you can see my beautiful new ceiling fan. Well, it's not that beautiful, but it is new. <laughs> Hang tight. Oh, I got to do this. There you go. There it is right there. Isn't that so much nicer than the other one? We still have to paint around that outside because this one's smaller than the other one, but I think it will, it'll be nice. Happy that I got it. Okay. Oh, hang on. My thing is, we were messing around with these stands over the weekend at this event. So um, things are very different. Like things are tightened in places they shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. I'm going to save that one and we're going to do this one. Now, remember this Valentine card that I made? The 3D one that was really cool? Yeah. Did you guys see my wine charms? How cute are those? These I did for um, Split Coast Stampers tutorial. Aren't those fun? Let me see if I can get some more light in here. There we go. Get my lamps in here. Oh, and I have to plug in my phone. So I'll just lay those down so you can see them. Hang on a second. We're going to jiggle a little. There we go. Okay, I think we're good to go. And I'm going to get out all my little layers. And my cheat sheet. Whoops, I don't have a sheet sheet. Oh, I don't have one for this one. That's great. Well, I, I will wing it. We'll be okay, right? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, Steve did do a really good job, Cynthia. Um, he's pretty, he's a pretty good mechanic. So, you know, he does really well with all this stuff. Okay, let me move these aside. I absolutely love this designer series paper. It is so, so valentine -y. And here is all of it and it is a specialty paper because it's got foil it's you can see the foil reflecting in the light I hope and our punches these these this is a punch pack that you can get with this whole suite one scalloped one's plain but the punches line up with the designer series paper so you can punch out this heart you can punch this heart out in a scallop or in not scalloped so it's pretty nice all right here comes, I see I got something on my card base here. I don't know what that is. But, ah. We'll put that on the front and cover it up. How about that? Okay, bone folder. Oh, 
Um, Donna's asking, what are the hearts for the wine charms made out of? They're made out of shrink plastic, Donna. So if you happen to miss this, you'll want to go over to my blog. Here's the address. Just head over there and scroll down until you see this project, and then you're going to see a video tutorial on how I did it. This is shrink plastic. Um, I used the Stampin' Blend alcohol markers to color the plastic, and then I use stays on ink to stamp on them, and you use your heat tool to shrink them. It's pretty darn cool, like magically cool. Yeah. Okay, card base. Whisper White Thick. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter and I've got it burnished. And I think I'm going to turn this over because the front is just a teeny beeny bit bigger than the back and that's how I roll. <laughs> okay. Now, oh, I did this already. I didn't realize that. So I've got um, a real red layer here and a crumb cake layer, and I didn't write down, whoops, hang on, I didn't write down my dimensions, so let me grab a ruler, perhaps, if I can get it out of my thing. Who else has a Stampin' Up! ruler? That's pretty cool, right? So, my crumb cake is three and three quarters by five. My real red is going to be five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And I'm going to bring in one of my piercing mats. This is our piercing mat. I just cover it with um, printer weight paper so I can stamp on it. It's a really good surface to be stamping on. Then I need crumb cake ink here. And I've got all my stamps mounted up. I'm going to take crumb cake ink on crumb cake cardstock and I'm going to use the Love You Lots greeting. Oh! Oh! Who just said that? Hang on, I've got things popping up on my screen. Um, Deborah said she loves the sheets I created. Yes, so for those of you that may have missed it, again, on my blog on last Wednesday, I showed you how I make these sheets, and I also provided a PDF um, file for you to print out your own and make your own at home if you would like to. What I like to do with these is take them and um, I put them in the back of my designer series paper. So that when I'm looking for a particular pattern or color, I can just grab my paper and go, what's in here? It's a really nice little reference. And if you're a demonstrator, it's nice to have these to be able to show your customers all of the papers without dragging them all out of the package every time, right? Um, people have asked me what font did I use. It's called Cream Candy. And then people are asking me to upload the file in other um, formats and all of that. No, I, I think I provided a pretty good amount of stuff already. So my, my object of this was to provide you with the tools to make your own. So you can print these out. If you need additional designer series papers beyond what I have provided you with, I taught you how to make them. So you are certainly welcome to do that. Okay, we're going to use... Um, the crumb cake ink and I'm just going to start right here at an angle. So I'm going to stamp and my idea is that I want the words to be my background, kind of like designer series paper. So you can do as many of them as you want. You can put them close together. You can do them far apart, whatever tickles your fancy. But I like this look in the background. So I'm kind of making my own um, designer series paper okay and again you could put them close you could put them far away whatever you want to do I'm gonna bring in our beautiful red satin ribbon this is all part of that suite of products and and ginger says absolutely thanks so much they're awesome and you're awesome and you are so sweet you are very welcome and I'm glad I could help everybody out on that all right now, I've got a layer to go behind my crumb cake, but before I layer that in there, I'm going to bring in my red scalloped punch and punch a heart right out of the center. Now I'm going to add this to my, my layer. So you don't have to grab another piece of red. Do this. I put my um, glue on this layer so I don't have it all over in here and get it all over my mat here, right? So we're going to put it on that red layer and keep the glue only on the cardstock. And then here we go. Nobody's ever going to know that's there. Then we're going to take this ribbon 
And I like to cut my ribbon like, oh, wait, wait, I almost forgot something. I'm gonna grab my black ink. I've got my Memento ink here. Let me move this out of the way. And there's this cute little arrow in here. So I'm gonna grab my Memento ink and I'm gonna ink up my arrow. We're gonna see how this looks because I really don't know. I think, mm, hang on, I think I need to do something a little different here. I'm gonna clean this off and start over. Make sure that I don't have any residue on it. Now I'm just going to do the top of the arrow. So from here on, and I'm gonna put that right about here, okay? Now I'm gonna clean it off. By the way, this is our chamois. This is how I clean my stamps. It is the best stamp cleaner ever. I don't know, it's like magic, I love it. Then I'm gonna ink up the other end of my arrow and I'm going to bring it way down here into the corner. See how I did that? Yeah, I just elongated it by only stamping part of it. Okay, then we're gonna put our ribbon on. So I'm gonna put my ribbon right about here and I've got, I just like to use tape. You can use mini glue dots. I don't recommend that you use um, any type of a tape runner on the back to stick your ribbon to because I just had to fix a card today that used a tape runner because the ribbon does not adhere to it well and it fell apart. And I don't like my cards falling apart. I'm sure you don't like your cards falling apart either. Okay, somebody said they just made them all. Good for you. Deborah did, Deborah made them all. Okay, then I'm just gonna, whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna try to tie a knot as hard as that may seem, right? I'm gonna tie a knot. And actually, it's just a single knot, so you don't have that bulk in your envelope that's gonna cause you to have to add extra postage, so that's nice. Here's my little, just a little piece like that, and then I need to, hang on, I gotta grab my Valentine paper. I didn't get that out. Here's my Valentine paper. And this is um, one of the patterns, and you can see here that I've been punching out hearts. And this is, you can use the scalloped heart one or the plain heart one without the scallops. And I'm gonna slice this off and come in and punch. And just because I already did it, I'm not gonna do it again. But, um, hang on a second. Just cut some of this off. You can get that punch right in there and punch another heart just like that. And it's that pretty foil paper. So I already have one here. And then this was our scallop that we punched right out of the back of there. So I'm gonna um, just glue these two together. Like I said, I wanted to keep these Valentine cards simple so that I'll make a whole bunch of them and send them out to my loved ones. They love getting cards. And Valentine's Day is just another excuse to show them my mad stamping talent, right? <laughs> Show them your mad stamping skills. Send out cards. All right, and I've got dimensionals on the back and let's see how this looks. Oh, look how cute that is. So what it did is it just made the arrow longer so more of it would stick out on each side. What do you guys think? Pretty cute, right? Okay, now this is my card base. And before I go any I'm not going to glue this to the front because we're going to try to stamp in here. And if I mess it up, I'm going to save myself a lot of hassle by not gluing it all together first. So I've got, uh, where's my red ink pad? Did you guys see my red ink pad? Did I use red any place? No, I didn't. Oh, it's great. It's right where it belongs. <laughs> okay, for an update, it's still 21 to 3. The Packers are beating the Seahawks. I'm sorry, Seahawks fans but that's the score right now. And I've got the roses are red, violets are blue. And then being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too. I'm gonna stand up so I can try and get this straight. Oh, I think I did it, you guys. <gasps> I did! Oh! Yay, okay, and then I have this really cute little heart here. Mm. Nope, I think I wanna do this heart. This is just an outline heart, and I'm just gonna take that and put it right at the bottom. How cute is that? So, if I would've messed this up, 
I could turn it this way and stamp my greeting on the inside and cover this up, right? But since I did so well tonight, I did have a lot of practice over the weekend, just saying. <laughs> I did not need to do that. But yeah, so don't glue your stuff together until you have everything stamped. Sometimes I don't follow my own advice and it always bites me in the butt. All right, then the other thing that I have are these adorable little from the heart faceted gems. And I'm gonna drag out my take your pick tool and I am going to add just a few of these. I've got some glue dots going on here. I'm gonna add a few of these little gems on my card because I think they're gonna be cute and they just add a tiny bit of bling. And you guys know, I love me some bling. All right, let's see, where's another one? Here's a white one. So I just put those on some, whoops. <laughs> it's stuck to my finger, I've got glue on my finger now. There we go. Just a little bit of bling. Look at how that flashes in the light. Is that not pretty? That is beautiful. Okay, then, let me grab an envelope. Is this a white envelope? Yes, it is. Okay. And I'm going to stamp this beautiful Happy Valentine's Day heart right on my envelope. Look at how pretty that is. We have another Valentine card ready to go out in the mail. Right? Super fun. Very easy. Quick and easy. Mad stamping skills right here on the arrow thing. That was pretty cool, right? <laughs> Okay, um, Paula or Pam says, when I ordered these, I thought they were flat. I was surprised that they were so big. Yeah, they are pointy. So, um, so here's what I do, you guys. When we have embellishments like this, so you don't run into any problems, hang on, I'm just gonna grab something over here. Um, I'm not finding it. But I have crummy cardstock, and I will take just a layer of cheap, not my good stuff, but cheap crummy cardstock, and I'll lay it right like this. And then you're gonna slide it into your envelope. That'll cover up your bumps from your um, knots and your ribbon or your bows and all of that stuff, okay? You slide this in here. This is not too thick that you're gonna have to pay extra postage. Now, if you don't cover up embellishments like rhinestones and pearls that stick up like this, they'll put holes in your envelope. Sometimes your post office people get kind of snippy with you and make you pay extra postage. So just take a piece of cheap, chintzy, whatever cardstock. If you're a demonstrator, let me grab something here. Hang on, I'm looking for, you know these postcards that we get? <laughs> Take one of those and put it over the front. You want to put the glossy side onto the front of your card because this side will actually rub off some of this ink and um, get it on your card. So glossy side of the postcards in here, slide it right in your envelope. No extra postage, no holes in your envelope from embellishments. So there you go. That's a great tip, right? Okay, we're going to set that aside. <coughs> Hang on, I got kind of a tickle in my throat. Okay, so I see that Julie says she flips the outside of her card to the inside. But here's what's going to happen with this one, Julie. You're going to flip this like this. These are going to poke indentations into your card. If you just take that extra card stock and do that, you're not going to have that problem. So, <coughs> excuse me. With these, I think you're going to be happier if you put the piece of card stock on the front like this rather than holding them like this and mailing them. And the presentation when they pull them out of the envelope is nicer if your card front is the first thing they see. Just just my two cents worth and you can do whatever works for you. That's all I'm ever going to give you is what I experienced through it. But I'm glad that you guys know that you need to protect your cards like this because you don't want them to get ruined, right? Okay. I'm going to get these stamps cleaned up because I have another simple, simple Valentine card to make for you before we move on to like maybe some meerkats or something like that. Let's put these away too. Okay, my next one 
let's get this out of here. It's kind of ugly. So I have um, my printers running low on ink right now. And every time I turn around, the low ink thing pops up on my screen. And I'm really getting annoyed with HP. And I want that off in there. Like, I don't want to be notified when my printer is low on ink. I can see it. <laughs> and I don't know what the big deal is. It's like, it's like they have you, they're in a panic that you're going to run out of ink. I don't care. I can reprint if I run out of ink. But I'll tell you what, that notification coming up all the time is making me crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay, enough about my problems. <laughs> all right, I am coming in here with a real red card base and this is again five and a half by eight and a half I've already folded it in half and burnished that edge with my bone folder and then I have two whisper white layers these are both four by five and a quarter and by the way you guys can find all the dimensions for all my projects with still photos in a complete shopping list of what I use to make them on my blog sometime tonight once I get this video uploaded to YouTube and get all the pictures on my blog you'll always find that on my blog so two pieces of whisper white I have already run this piece I hope you can see that through the subtle embossing folder and it just gives it kind of a linen paper look which is really cool and then Hang on, I've got a piece of designer series paper. Oh, here it is. This is one and a half by five and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do with this is put it right down the side of my white layer. And I see the Seahawks have scored or something. I just missed it, but something just happened on the game, you guys. So Packers are still ahead, but the Seahawks are now making a comeback. And this is why you don't get too cocky about the score. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got this going on. Then I'm going to bring in this beautiful ribbon again. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the other card. Cut this off. And before you glue it down, you wanna do this. Add your ribbon just like that. Now you don't want this to be too tight. That's another thing I forgot to tell you on the other one. Don't make this ribbon too tight, pull it too tight, because you need to be able to tie that single piece around here. And I always call this kind of like a faux bow because it does kind of look like a bow and all you've done is just tied one single knot. You didn't do any bows, which is a lot easier than bows, right? If you want to and you're really anal, and I know sometimes I can be that way, you can take a mini glue dot and put it right here on the knot so it stays in place and it doesn't move so you see this edge, right? That kind of can make me a little crazy. I don't know why I care, but I do. I guess because we should care. Okay. Oh, the Packers scored again, too. It's 28 to 10. I totally missed that, Mary and Nancy. Way to go. This is exciting. Like, I was really kind of bummed. It's like, oh, the Packers are going to be playing their playoff game, and I'm going to be stamping and not able to sit and watch the game. But you guys are keeping me updated, and I appreciate that. So thank you. All right. Next, what I decided to do, so the colors that are in this paper is real red and flirty flamingo and whisper white. And there's a real pale pink in here too. So we're going to take some flirty flamingo and our scallop punch, and we're gonna punch out three hearts. So there's one, there's two, there's three. And then I've got a scrap of white here and I'm going to bring in my Flirty Flamingo ink pad. And this little stamp. I'm going to stamp that just like that. Isn't that cute? I think it's so pretty. And then from my heart to yours. What a nice sentiment, right? I have a niece that is moving to Kansas. Um, pretty soon to take a new job and I think this would be a beautiful little card to send to her it'll be the probably the first card she gets in her new apartment I think I'll do that I don't know if Megan's watching but Megan this is going to be your card <laughs> okay so here we go I'm just going to glue this onto one of these and then We've got two more. Where'd those dimensionals go? Do you guys see that? There was just a couple left. Oh, I don't know what I did with them. 
Okay, hang on, I gotta grab some more. Um, here comes some more ends. I'm just going to, oops, I wanna add dimensionals to the one that we put the white heart on the front. So here comes dimensionals there. And now we're gonna bring in this card. And again, this is a super duper easiest Valentine card almost ever. And you're just going to come in here like this and then put some glue on the back of this one. And we're going to come in here like this again. And we're going to put this middle one up on dimensionals and we're just gonna make it go the other way. Isn't that cute? Now I got this as a swap card. I didn't design this, I thought it was genius. I just think it is absolutely adorable. Now let's do something with the middle. All right. Um, love you lots. I think that'll be really cool. And I think I'm gonna do it in real red. Or, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna do my Happy Valentine's Day on the inside because that's gonna be really pretty. And of course, look at I got an edge. So we're gonna do it again. And try to keep my fingers out of the red ink because you guys know, anytime I use red ink, I get it all over the place. <laughs> I don't know if everybody has that problem or if it's just me, but yeah. Oh, they're under the envelope. Oh, oh. These? No, I just pulled these out. Well, I don't see them. I think it looked like they were under the envelope. Okay, so here's the inside of our Valentine card. And I'm just gonna keep it sweet and simple so I can crank out a ton of these, right? Is that not cute? Think how many cards you can make with the designer paper. You could use any one of the patterns in here. They are all well, except for like these big ones. This one would this one would still be pretty. You're not gonna see the whole heart, but it would still be pretty on here. One and a half by five and a quarter is this piece. This is a great idea to use up all your scraps, like your little bits that you don't use because you cut them off to make a card. So here we go. There's both our Valentine cards. Both of them are pretty easy. And I know that my family and friends are going to love them. Yeah, Trudy says the ink jumps off the pads. You got that right, Trudy. It can be quite a mess, right? Okay, I'm just gonna clean up these stamps and move them out of the way so that we can get on to our next project. What'd you guys have for supper tonight? I have not eaten yet. What did Steve make today? Steve made homemade spaghetti sauce, which he's never done before. But he was in the kitchen and he cooked up a bunch of um, red peppers and green, no, not green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, onions, and then put them into some spaghetti sauce and then added some tomato sauce. And he was in there making up all kinds of stuff today. So when I get done, tonight I am going to go eat and I'm looking very forward to that because <laughs> he's a good cook all right let's see what should we make next I have oh how about this one this one's fun okay so the stamps that I'm going to be using for this card is the happy birthday to you. And isn't this just beautiful? This cake is so pretty. We've got some beautiful fonts with these words. I absolutely love them. Oh, Megan is asking. She says she's noticed that when I'm gluing my pieces down, I don't glue all the way to the edge. Well, um, these cards, these layers aren't going any place, Megan. You don't need to put glue all the way around the edges. I just scribble in the middle because the cardstock is, it just sticks. I don't know. I've never really thought about it, but look at, I'm, I'm trying to put my thumb in here under these. It stays down. You don't need to use that much glue. The less glue you use, the faster it will dry. Number one, the less oozing out from under you'll have. You, um, sometimes you can, if you use too much glue, you're going to get worms, you, you know, like it raises up the other side of the cardstock. So less glue is better. And I've always done that. 
That's a great question. So, oh, we have chicken fried potatoes with onions and green beans. Green beans are my favorite, Lynette. Like, that's my favorite vegetable. I love green beans. Okay, I've got a couple. I've got, like, actually three cards I'm going to show you. So, <clears throat> this weekend, um, I did a... Uh, a demonstration on how to make a video and this was the project that I made showing people how to make a video now I needed something really quick and simple because my presentation wasn't about how fabulous is your card it was about how to make a video so this is what I made for everybody this is gray granite it's five and a half by eight and a half and I am going to just fold that in half and burnish that edge good Yeah, Whisper White Cardstock Penny Lou, you do get worms on the other side when you use too much glue. So I'm, I'm a real, I'm a real, um, I really conserve a lot with the glue because you don't need much of it and it can really ruin your projects. Okay, <clears throat> I've got a Whisper White layer here and this Whisper White layer is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've also got a little strip for a banner. This is one by three, about three and three quarters. We're going to cut it down to whatever we need. Then I've got pool party. This is one and an eighth by about four. And another layer of pool party that is, <clears throat> excuse me, four, four by five and a quarter. First thing we're going to do is we are going to take our gray granite ink and we are going to... Hang on a second, I'm looking around here. Oh, there it is. We're gonna stamp our birthday cake in the gray granite ink. Now, when I have bigger stamps like this, rather than do this where I just really can't see what's going on anymore because they're so big, I like to bring my ink pad in and do this. And now I can see that I have covered that entire image and I'm going to stamp my cake right down here in the corner, okay? It's very faint. That's what I wanted. I didn't want it to be super dark. And now I'm going to do, 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 take a post-it note and I'm going to stamp my image again on there because we're going to do just a touch of masking. So now I'm grabbing this. You want to make sure that your image is touching the sticky part so that your post-it note is going to stick down, right? Oh, and now the Seahawks just got a touchdown. Okay, so you're going to cut this all out and, you know, blah, 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 through the magic of TV. <laughs> I've already done that, so you don't have to watch me. But you're just going to cut this out, and you can see that I cut around the edges. It was pretty simple. When I get done with this, I now place it into, into my case, because if I want to do this masking again, I've already got this, and I don't have to duplicate my efforts, right? So I'm going to take this post-it note and I'm going to cover up my cake. And again, this is a very, very simple, easy, quick card to make. Let me find my pool party ink. Here we go. Hang on, my lamp is trying to go to sleep. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. And... I'm going to use a sponge. Now you're going to hold down your post-it note good. I like to kind of make sure that I'm not going to get globs of ink. And I'm doing very small circles right over top of my post-it note. You don't want to come in like this because you're going to pick up that edge of that post-it note and it's not going to stay down nice. And I know I'm probably rocking my um, camera too and I'm sorry about that. but. It is what it is. We have some sponging to do. This is serious business, people. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Well, see what I did? Because I got a little aggressive and came in like that. You want to stay on top. And now I bent it. You want to stay on top of what you're working on and do very nice little round circles. I think we're going to be okay. And you, it really doesn't look like I've done anything here. Like, you guys can look at this and go, what is she doing? Like, she just went around that whole thing and nothing happened. <gasps> Magic. Look at how pretty that is. I love this. Okay, now like I said, I am going to bring this in 
and leave it in my case so I can use it for future cards. Now what I'm going to do is bring in my pool party blends. I've got the light and the dark. And I'm not doing any fancy artwork here. I'm just coming in and coloring my flowers very quickly. I want this to be a really quick and simple and easy card to make. I'm just going to come in and color my flowers. This is the lighter pool party stamp and blend alcohol marker. You could never color this nicely with a regular marker. It, it needs to be an alcohol marker. Okay, we got that done. Then I'm going to bring in the dark one and I'm going to color the centers of the flowers and then also the little, um, what do you call these, buds. I was going to call them little nibs, but they're little buds. I'm going to just color the little buds. That's going to make them pop a little bit. Now, if you wanted to get crazy, you could color your leaves, but I don't think it's really necessary. I think this is very pretty. It's very soft, and it's exactly what I was looking for. I'm going to come in with my Wink of Stella, and I'm going to add a little bit of glimmer to my flowers. Tip that up in the light. Oh, I missed a little bit here. I hope you can see that glimmer on there because it really is pretty. Okay, this is going to get put on my pool party layer. And again, that's, that's my glue. And it, my cards do not fall apart. Very little. See, this is going to stay on there because this glue goes all the way up here. All right, then I've got this. Now, I tried to do this earlier today at my class, and or at my demonstration. It didn't work out that great, so I'm just going to warn you, this might not go as well as I hope. And if it doesn't, I'm going to get my Stamparatus out. So I've got the gray granite ink. I'm going to stamp my happy birthday, okay? I'm going to clean off my stamp, and now I'm going to stamp it again in Pool Party trying to stamp kind of directly over top, but you know you can't get it perfect, so it's going to be slightly offset. And that one worked great! Okay, it's not really centered like I would like it, but for purposes of this, it's going to work. I'm just going to cut it like that. Now I'm going to glue this on to that one and an eighth inch pool party piece. Just like that. And I'm going to just cut this. And now we're going to add some dimensionals. Oh, look, I have a whole bunch of them here. One, two, and I think I might even put one right in the middle. Where did my take your pick tool go? There we go. Oh, that didn't come off. There we go. Here comes our card front. Whoops, it's crooked, it's crooked. Meh. <laughs> My sound effects. Meh. <laughs> and here's our gray granite card base. Now, what's the really cool thing about this Happy Birthday to You stamp set is that it's free with your $50 order. So if you head over to my store, and that's before tax and shipping. If you place a $50 order, you get the stamp set for free. You can choose this out of all of our celebration items. That's all of the things that are in here. And I think they have some really pretty cards. Yeah, look at how pretty this card is. And this card. And that card was made with the flowers from the cake. And then, really exciting news. Oh, I printed this stuff out. Oh, here it is. We have coordinating products coming for this stamp set right here. We have some dies coming out February, I think it's February 3rd, 4th. February 4th, you're going to be able to purchase some dies. So, if you put your order in now, over $50, you can get this stamp set for free. And then in February, you can come back and order the dies that coordinate with it. I can't wait to get my hands on those. As a 
demonstrator, I get to pre-order those. So mine are actually going to be showing up in the mail this week, the dies. So I ordered these things. And um, if you would like to be able to get your hands on this stuff early, all you need to do is become a discount shopper, order the starter kit, and you will be able to pre-order these. You could actually, I think, even put these into your starter kit. So we'll talk about that after we're done with our next card. Okay, free stamp set. One more thing I want to do here is, as long as we've got this beautiful little stamp set, I thought it would be, or card, I should say, I thought it would be just a great idea to add a tiny bit of bling to it. We've got the Wink of Stella, and now we're going to bring in some rhinestones. And I'm just going to take three rhinestones and add them right there. What do you guys think? Oh, hang on. i got to close all the low ink windows so I can see what you guys are saying. <laughs> yeah, somebody just said they didn't realize the stamp was this big. Yeah, it's really, really very attractive. It's a nice size stamp. And I've actually got it on a size E block. So it's pretty substantial. Okay, I'm going to bring in the next card. What time? It's only 8 o'clock. We're doing really good. I told you guys these were quick and easy cards, which means I can make quite a few of them, right? What's our score? 17-28. Packers are still leading. Seahawks are climbing right up there, though. That's getting a little scary. My Seahawk fan base is happy right now that their Seahawks are moving up. Me as a Packer fan, not so happy. <laughs> I want my team to win. Okay, let's get all of this out of the way. Um, what did I do with that card now? Oh, here it is. I'm just going to put that over here with the other cards. Oh, here it is. I've got two. I already made one. Put that over with the other one. Oh, I know. I wanted to show this to you. This is made by one of my team members, Lisa. And Lisa actually already has the coordinating dies that go with this happy birthday to you set. And look at that little platter. Is that not adorable? That is very, very cool. And these flowers, the dies... This die right here cuts out the flowers. Yeah. So that's what's coming in February. So get your stamp set now, and then in February you can buy the dies to go with it. Okay. Here we go. Next on our agenda. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Like, we're going to make a card with the meerkats. The gang's all mirror. And I've got... 15 or 16 different meerkat cards to share with you that I have gotten in swaps. So that's kind of exciting, right? Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way. Bring in my meerkats. And I've got my classic label punch. And my cheat sheet. <laughs> I can't remember all these dimensions. Are you crazy? Right. Okay, let me move some of the stuff off my computer because otherwise I can't, I can't get to you. Um, okay, I already did that. I already did that. Oh, Amy used the meerkats for her swaps. I did some swapping with the meerkats too, Amy. They're really fun. So I'm using the Gangs All Mirror, but I'm using with it the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. And you guys saw all those cards that I made with it that I showed you at the beginning of this Facebook Live, right? This paper is so, so fun. So fun. Okay, here we go. I have a Whisper White card base. This is, again, five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. So we're going to burnish that edge. I'm going to burnish it again on my hard table because that you, you can push harder on there than you can on here. Then I've got a piece of... The designer series paper. This is the birthday bonanza. It's the opposite side of the um, toucan. Okay, so I'm going to be using this side, and that's one thing I love about stamping up. While this is, you know, kind of pretty much birthday celebration balloons and all that, this is neutral. While this is birthday candles, this is neutral ice cream cones. These are koalas, not pandas. <laughs> You caught my video, you know what I'm talking about. And this is neutral. 
Um, we do have balloons here and presents here, but it could be presents for anything or balloons for anything. And then again, neutral with the lions, neutral with all the little animals and presents. So I love that Stampin' Up! does this with their paper. Okay, this layer is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And then I'm going to bring in terracotta tile is one of the coordinating colors right here. I'm going to be using terracotta tile in grapefruit grove. And so this is where I'm pulling my colors from as I design this card. All right, we're just going to glue our designer series paper to the terracotta layer. And I'm really into that thin border. You guys kind of see me do that all the time. I really like that's just a pop of color behind there. And then I'm going to set that aside for right now. Oh, shoot. You know, I just blew it. So before you glue this on here to this layer, take your scallop oval die and die cut this out in the middle just like we did for that Valentine card. Remember, I completely forgot to do it. So thank goodness I have a scrap here because I need to die cut a scalloped oval. Let me grab my big shot. I usually do this ahead of time, but I wanted to show you that I was doing it in that layer and then I forgot anyways. So great job, Kelly. <laughs> I'm not going to be too hard on myself. It's been a very long weekend. Lots of fun, but long. I'm ready to get, I'm, I'm going to regroup tomorrow, I think. I had to come home and race to get my office put back together. And then, like a lunatic, I decided to change it all around when I've only got, you know, a couple hours to figure out what I'm doing for tonight. And, yeah, that's how I roll. It's pretty much chaotic. Okay, here we go. And then, the other thing I wanted to do, let's see. I think I'm going to use Memento Ink here. Mm, no. I think I'm going to go with, let's go with oh, Early Espresso. Yeah, I'm going to go with Early Espresso instead of Memento. So I want to stamp this from all of us. And I always think that I don't need a card that says from all of us because it's just me and Steve. But it's not really talking about who the card's coming from. You've got all of us. All these meerkats are sending a card. So that's kind of the way I think about it. And then I can use the from all of us. So I'm just going to punch that out. And I'm going to move it down to the right end of my classic label. See, it's way over there. Okay, got that done. Then I've already die cut a stitched label out of Whisper White. I'm going to stamp that in the early espresso and I'm just going to stamp my meerkats on there just like that. Now, if you like to color, this is the perfect opportunity for you to color the meerkats. If you don't like to color, oh, look at I just smeared it. I didn't give it a little chance to dry. So we're going to do it again. But if you don't like to color, you don't have to color these in. They're just stinking adorable, just like that. Okay, now try not to smear it, Kelly. We're going to put a little bit of glue on the back and add this to our scallop. There we go. Okay, I'm going to... Mm, where did that ribbon go? Did you guys see that little piece of ribbon that I had out here? It's the terracotta tile. Hang on, it's really on the floor. Yep. Oh, it's on the floor. And here's some dimensionals on the floor, too. Okay, so I'm going to take this terracotta tile. Now, our terracotta tile is plain on one side, and then it's got the terracotta on the other side, right? So I want to do this, but I don't like that look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I just kind of folded it over to make it do what I want it to do. And I'm going to take a fairly decent sized piece of tape, put this on the back so it kind of holds it together like that. And then I'm going to bring in my oval. Whoops, keep it down there. Bring in my oval. And yep, that's where I want it. Okay, so now I've got that squished down there. And then I'm going to trim this off just like that. Now, of course I love my company, but I love them even more because everything coordinates. And isn't that really pretty attractive? Yeah. Okay, here goes, um, oops, 
Here's some dimensionals. Of course, we're going to pop this up because why wouldn't you? I'm going to grab this and we're going to put this right over here. Now, before I put this down, I've got this little thing and I'm not quite sure where I want it to go. I think I want it up on dimensionals also, so I'm good. I'm going to put that down. Then I'm going to take one of our mini dimensionals, these little baby ones, I love them. And I'm gonna put a couple of those on here. Just like that. Put that back off. And we're gonna slide this right down in here. Now if you need to, if your dimensional gets in the way under there, you can just trim this off a little bit. But mine is doing just fine. There we go, okay. Now, my inside layer is going to be Whisper White, and I'm going to grab this little guy right here, and I'm going to stamp him right over here, and then I got Happy Birthday to a Stand-Up Friend. There we go. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. We're going to glue this to a piece of Grapefruit Grove. So this layer, the white layer is three and three quarters by five. The Grapefruit Grove is five and a quarter by four. We're gonna put this on the inside of our card. What's happening with my Packer game? I don't see a score on the screen yet. <laughs> Busy stamping. Isn't that cute? Happy birthday to a stand-up friend. And then, this is going to go on the front. Look at that. Super easy, quick card. You could crank out a whole bunch of these. And you can color them or not color them. Color this guy if you want to, but you don't have to. Are you guys ready to see like 15 more Meerkat cards? Like I'm not going to make them. I have them already made from swapping which is one of the really fun things that you get to do with people that are discount shoppers or business builders. Because regardless of what you do, once you are a member of somebody's team, like my team, you have the ability to start swapping with my team. And um, we host a swap every single month. It's super fun. And you can join in on that. If you're a member of my team, now whether you're a business builder, you want to build a business out of this, or you just want a discount on your products, it's a lot of fun. Okay, where are my Meerkat cards? Right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't hardly wait to show these to you. Okay, it's 17. Carol says 28 to 17. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Julie. Everybody's giving me the score. Yes. Okay, look at this. How cute is that? It's a gift card holder. Your gift card goes right in here. And again, they're using that Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. Super cute, right? And this, this one, they just colored one of the Meerkats. Easy peasy. Look at this adorable card. I love the navy and the red. Super fun. Oh, and you guys remember this one. I made this one for you. I use Stampin' Blends to color this in. And I also put the little cactus on there. This is the envelope. Here's another one with the birthday bonanza. That paper is beautiful. And the terracotta ribbon, look at that. That ribbon is just peeking out the edge over here. Cute, right? Which one? I should make this one for a video. Is that the one that you're talking about that you want to see? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> okay, you are you dying right now looking at this little Hawaiian meerkat? Like, that is the cutest thing ever. Susan says yes. Okay, Susan, I'm all over it. <laughs> is that not cute? This uses the Tropical Oasis paper, the trees, a couple of the little leaves, and the Aloha from Tropical Oasis, which is my kit class this month. And then they just stamped the little meerkat in there and put the um, little skirt on it with the leaves. Super, super sweet. 
And look at this one. This is our designer series paper, the Lily designer series paper that is in the um, Celebration mini catalog. You can get that whole pack for free with your $50 order. And now I lost my Celebration brochure. Oh, here it is. So that paper is right here. Look at that. It's this first paper right there. This whole pack of designer paper is free. They also use the metallic baker's twine and sequins that I was talking about at the beginning of this video, which is right here. <clears throat> you can get these free with your $50 order. The sequins match up great, and so does the baker's twine. It's got a metallic thread in it. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, Kathy says that a Hawaiian meerkat is adorable. I know, right? That was made by my friend Candy Michaels. She's out of Ohio, and she does fabulous work. Then we have Mindy Gray. Oh, by the way, this layout was done by Mindy Gray. Let me show you that. This is where I got the idea. Same layout, just different colors, different designer series paper, right? That's, where, that's how I get my ideas is swapping. It's really fun. Okay, here's another one. And I thought this was just adorable. It's all on crumb cake. It's just stamped in black. And we've got some lovely lipstick dots here. And I think these dots are from one of our butterfly sets. So how cute is that? Super easy. Again, no coloring. You guys remember this one I made? I put a little sign there. Love you lots from the mirror cats. Did I do anything? Nope, I don't have anything on the inside. And look at this. So they stamped the little party hats all around. The mirror cat and colored it and then just took our stamp and write marker and drew the lines. Super fun. Here's another one, super, super cute. This is actually the free as a bird designer series paper. And there's some Winkastella flicked on here. It's flicked all over and then on the little flowers on that um, cactus. I don't know who made this one. Let me see if I've got, nope, I got no name on it. Here's another one with the lines. And just the cactus and some of those pretty sequins. Yeah. And I don't know who made that one. I think my friend Barb made this one. She used that new Arca Argyle embossing folder and the new label punch with the Celebration um, Baker's Twine. Super cute. And I love the way she put this one on a tag. I think this is Barb's also. She stamped in Pool Party on Pool Party. And up here and then put the tag on here with the meerkats and she masked them so she could stamp them twice happy birthday from all of us is that not adorable yeah and then we have this one from Brett Brett put this ribbon in the side I thought that was really creative and used the new umbrella punch and a little flower and colored her rhinestone purple is that not adorable uh-oh, the Seahawks just scored. It's 23 to 28, you guys. Nine minutes left in the fourth. Yeah, super sweet. I think this one is from my friend Dina. Yep. And she used one of the um, embossing folders and that baker's twine and just three different colored hats. And how cute is that? Quick and easy card. This is one of my favorites. This is watercolor paper. So when she stamped this, she was able to watercolor. And aren't those colors just vibrant? I love this. Melon Mambo, Granny Apple Green, Pool Party. Such an interesting color combination, but it's beautiful. So there we go. Now, I have to show you um, the cards that I got last week. If you guys can stick with me, just a few more minutes. I shouldn't say last week. These cards are still from, I'm still bringing in cards from Christmas because I didn't get to show everybody from Christmas. This is from Lois Billadu. And if you remember, Lois made me the scarf, I'm pretty sure. And I think a can koozie, a whole bunch of stuff. This is her family. What a beautiful family you have, Lois. I'm jealous of the warm weather in the background. <laughs> yeah. And then, whoops, we have Claudia sent me this gorgeous card. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? These hold that centerpiece in place. 
So this is from Claudia. And then Kathleen Bryson. Kathleen used to live here near me, and she used to come to my classes. And then she moved to California. Jealous. But she sent me this really cute card. And then, oh, my mom just sent me this one. I opened this up, and I'm like, oh, that looks familiar. Yeah, because I made it. <laughs> and she's saying, thank you for a wonderful Christmas. So that was really sweet. Then we have this cool card. Look at how pretty that is. I love these snowflake embellishments. They are the bomb. And this is from Tundra Hudson. Thank you so much. This is so pretty. I love the gingham in the background and all the little sequin rhinestones. Sequins. They're sequins. So pretty. And then I have this beauty. Is that not really pretty? This is from... Melanie Morris. Melanie watches me all the time. Thank you so much, Melanie. This is just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I have from Lynn Wheatley this gorgeous card. Isn't that not so pretty? Oh, it says Lynn Wheatley, but, but this is Maureen Wheatley. She lives on the East Coast, and I've talked to her several times on the phone. Sweet, sweet lady. If you're watching tonight, Maureen, thank you very much. And then this is from Heather Arnold. Look how pretty that is. She put some 3D items on the background here, on the tops of the mountains for the snow, and it's really, really cool. And again, from Heather Arnold. Very pretty. Thank you, Heather. And then Susan Reed. And there's notes in some of these. I've already read those notes, and they're just personal notes to me. Um, this is Susan Reed's card. Look how pretty that is. I love, love the glimmer paper. Very, very pretty. Oh, and she's talking about the chicken wire on here. Thank you for the chicken wire. Yeah, she won the chicken wire. So that's cool. I'm glad you made a card with it. Then we have, whoops, hang on. We got things falling here. We've got Debbie Lundine is from Canada, and she mailed me a card. Thank you so much, Debbie. You are so sweet. Isn't that pretty? And, um, oh, we've got this one. Then I got this. I think this was from Sydney Benward. This came in a swap that she is one of my um, team members. I think she's a discount shopper. And she was in the last swap that I hosted for this new mini catalog. And she put this in there as a little extra thank you. Those are always sweet. Thank you so much. Let's see. What else do I have here? Oh, the rest of it is not for that. I have one more card to share with you. And this is a doozy, you guys. So get ready. Get ready. This is from Angie Fairburn. Okay, so this was all tied in a really pretty bow down here. Are you ready for this? Oh, hang on. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, here we go. Isn't this card pretty? Ready? Ah, how cool is that? Yeah, this is a twist. I don't know what they call it. Twist and shout card. Twist and pop card. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think I've made one of these before, and I think I have a video on my YouTube channel for it. But I don't I don't remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure I did. I know, you can't stop playing with it. It's so fun. Angie, thank you so much. Beautiful card. And I know these are a lot of work, so you sent it to the right person because as a stamper, I, I really appreciate the effort and how fun this card is. Who wouldn't want to get that, right? And it just folds back together. Okay, um, let's see. We're going to, I think that's all the cards that I got now. I've shared all the cards. Bring back in the cards that we made tonight. Don't forget, this is the Happy Birthday to You set. It's free with a $50 order. The Gangs All Mirror is also free with a $50 order. And here's a cute Valentine card and another cute Valentine card. Simple Simon, easy peasy. You can make a gazillion of them. So there you go. Oh, and by the way, Angie is from Australia. So this, this cost her quite a bit to get this card here. 
So that's even like, wow, Angie, you like, that's so super nice of you. Thank you so much. Um, from, I think it's Nar Warren South. Oh, wait, no, not Australia. Nar Warren South Victoria. I don't know why I said Australia. It's not Australia, right? I don't know where Angie's from. <laughs> oh, she's from Canada, I promise. <laughs> oh, my Lord. No, she's from Australia. Oh, my gosh. This is from Australia. I don't know why. I think Victoria, and then I think Canada, but it doesn't say. That must be a state in Australia, and I am such... I am not the person that knows where the places are. I just like going to the places. And Australia is on my bucket list. So. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angie, from Australia. This is cool. All right, you guys. I think it is time for me to go. Let's see. Next week is, the next time I'll be live is on the 19th. That is Sunday. I'll be live again at 7 p.m. Central Time. And... Um, I don't anticipate any schedule changes coming up. I've got some blog hops happening maybe this week. My Wednesday tip video will be on there again. Don't forget that the 17th is kind of my deadline. And I say kind of because I think I'm going to make up some extra kits for the Tropical Oasis kit class that I'm doing. But if you want to get a hold of those, get into that kit. It's going to be fantastic. The cards that Ashley and I designed are beautiful. Each one comes with an exclusive video. There are four different designs. You get all the card sock to make two of each. It's really fun to get that all cut for you so you don't have to do all that work, right? And then my other online class is with the Peaceful Moments Suite, which is the Poppies. Um, the Peaceful Moments Bundle, I should say, which is the Poppies. That includes eight cards. Exclusive video tutorials for each, plus a perpetual calendar portfolio, a perpetual birthday calendar portfolio. You're going to love it. This is an extra, which will then lead into the February class is going to be the painted poppies. So we've got peaceful moments with the poppies and then painted poppies in February. And um, both classes are kind of standalone. They come with product. If you order the product that's shown on my blog from me for the for the poppies, you get the online class for free, the pre-cut cardstock as a bonus, and um, you'll have all this beautiful stuff and be able to make gorgeous cards. All right. I think if you have any questions that I did not answer, it's really hard for me to see and look and do and all the things. I think you'll understand that a little bit. But if you have any questions that I didn't answer that you need an answer from me, please, please don't hesitate to contact me. You could pop me an email. Don't forget to share my video. Sharing is caring. And that really does help me out. Give me a thumbs up on Facebook. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I appreciate that. Um, on YouTube, you're going to be able to click on this link and head right over to my blog. Also on YouTube is going to be a list of all the products I use. You can click on it. It'll take you right to my online store. I always appreciate your online orders. Don't forget, when you are to order the um, Discount Shopper Kit during celebration, uh, where did my stuff go? You are going to get a whole bunch of extra stuff, you guys. You're going to get a mini paper cutter. You're going to get a paper sampler, all this designer series paper, and you're also going to get to choose one stamp set of your choice. It's this, it's, this excludes host sets and celebration sets, but any other sets. So you could like pick a $40 stamp set. For $99 and free shipping, you get to choose $125 worth any product you want for your kit. Plus, you're going to get all three of these things. Plus, you're going to get a paper pumpkin kit, all for $99 and free shipping. Join my team. If you're a stamper, you should be getting your product at a discount. And being part of something bigger is so much more fun. You will love being on my team. And I do not discriminate whether you're a discount shopper or you're building a business. You want to do what I do or you totally do not want to do what I do and just get a discount on your product. I'm good with you either way and you'll love it. I'm a lot of fun. You might not know that about me. <laughs> 
All right, you guys. I hope you have a fabulous week. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. This is my current host code. Use that code when you're placing an order if your order is under $150. And by the way, if your order is over $150, you're going to get three celebration choices in level one, or you can qualify for the level two, which is a $100 order. Those are some of the framelits and stuff that are a little bitter, bigger products. We have level one, we have level two. $150 will get you three level ones or a level two and a level one. It's wonderful. Do not use this host code if your order is over $150. You are going to get Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have them. Here's my blog. Head over there. Thank you so much for placing your orders. It is what keeps me in business and keeps my bills paid. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Take a breath, Kelly. What are you guys drinking? I've got my strawberry lemonade. And my throat is very dry. I'm going to finish watching the Packer game. May the best team win. I know I've got some Seahawks fans on here, but I've got my fingers crossed for the Packers. I understand your loyalty to your team. And um, good luck to both of us. <laughs> Have a great week, you guys. Bye-bye.